Good, 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 Food comes, good, good, good. And he's a wiggly guy. So really, you need to spend a lot of time with this. Good, good. Try to get long sits without him moving around. But another good thing to do is to be able to have control. Sometimes food isn't good enough. Sometimes when there's a big distraction, there could be more going on. He doesn't pay such good attention. If you take prey drive and turn it into ball drive. Good, good, good. I keep it in front of him. I'm not letting it wiggle at the end because then he might take an accidental bite of my hand. But if I take a wiggle out and I'm teaching him to go for his end, if he goes and plays tug, I play what I call rock and roll, which is where I go back and forth. Just good, good. I'll play tug. The reason I play tug is it makes it fun to bring the toy back. More fun than keeping it over way. Good, good. That's rock and roll. If you want, I'll try to get the swing out of it. Good, good. But I'm not forcing it to him. I'm kind of taking it away. Good, good, good. Fun, good, 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 good. We're going to just drink and I'll play some more tug. I won't take it away. Good, good, good. That's good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Ready? He learns to bring and he learns it's fun because they don't take the toy away. When he's holding it, or once I develop more drive and he wants to hold it, when I want him to let go, I just go out. This isn't fun. I don't let him take it to the ground. I'm just keeping him standing. Now we play again. Good, good. Oh my hands. Good. And the drive starts to be built. He's being real careful to not bite me, which is good. If you want to slack, you gotta take the slack out, and there we go. That's ball class 101. Hey, so whose toy is that? <laughs>